subscribing to our channel thank you for liking our videos thank you for watching we are really really encouraged by your consistent support we appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed we encourage you to subscribe like and share our videos and for those of you who have subscribed please remember to turn on the notification button so that when we get new uploads you can be notified how to make a um, wake up with us sale and we have our wake up with us here and some few items to work with we have a texture mat silicone mat we have a glass cup water edible color paints edible colors they are already diluted anyway we have our art brushes we have a, a bowl here and some cakes so we are going to go straight into our project with our seal we are going to use um, one of these it has two faces one of the faces glossy while the other side is a bit rough so I'm going to use the inner part, this part that is not so glossy. I apply some digital sharpening on my work surface to prevent uh, wafer paper from sticking. And then I will brush some colors randomly. Be careful not to overweight it. Okay, so that you don't have the seal too soft. When it's too light, you may not be able to lift it. It may rip off before in the process of trying to form it, okay? So just randomly apply your colors here. Remember, it's a marbled seal, uh, so we will not place our colors in a particular order just randomly okay okay we are done with this. We are going to bring it and place it over a glass cup. And then we'll peg it here and there to give it formation. This is just to enable it to have a particular formation, okay? So this will stay here for the next two hours thereabouts. So enable it dry. If if you can handle your wet pack papers when it's a bit wet, it gives you a better fold texture than when it is dry. So sometimes you could actually use vegetable sharpening to apply your colorings. But I like to work with um, liquid liquid colors. This helps me to get my wet pack papers soft and. With that, I'm able to achieve much frills than when it is dry. And while we are waiting for this to dry up, to see the end result, I would like to quickly show you one of our seals that is already dry. Okay, well, this is one of our marble seals. This has been done for like two weeks ago. It's, it's really durable. If all you need to do is to store it in a dry place. 